Comfy UI is an open source, free and easy to use interface for your stable diffusion AI image generation. In this video, I'll show you a, a very simple and quick way to install it and run it locally. All right, so to install Comfy UI, go to this GitHub page. The link will be down below. Scroll down to where it says installation or get started. This is going to be the fast and easy way, pretty good for most people. The manual install will allow you to put it on any operating system, any GPU. It's going to allow you to create virtual environments and track the various Git updates. If you don't know what that is, just go with the desktop application and download whatever operating system you're using. Let the installer do its thing. Follow the instructions. By the way, if you want to see which card you have or how much VRAM you have, click the start button in Windows and type in DXDIAG. That will give you a lot of information about what kind of a hardware you're rocking. In my case, on this one, I have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 with about 24 gigs of VRAM. They say you need about 8 gigs kind of on the lower end to get started. So back to our installation page, we're on NVIDIA. That's the GPU that I have. I'll use the default location. This is how you migrate if you have a previously existing installation. For us, we're just gonna click next. Select some preferences on this page, whatever you want, up to you. And this is what we're gonna see next. So it's setting up our Python environment. Just let it do its thing. So it's installing and downloading all the packages it needs in its own environment so that it doesn't affect all the other stuff on your computer. That's gonna take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. And here's kind of the starting area. We can get started with a template. And there are tons of stuff here from basic image generation, including our various Flux tools, Flux Dev, etc., LM APIs, upscaling, etc. 3D, audio, video API, image API. You get it. We're gonna try the Flux Dev. If you don't have the model already downloaded, you'll get this missing models and you're able to download it here. Let's go for it. Again, this is the first time I've installed it on this computer. So you're seeing it kind of alive. So if it's the first time you're installing it, you'll see the same exact thing. By the way, here you can see where we're getting the model from. In this case, it's off of a Hugging Face. And here is our workflow. Now, as you master this, there's a lot of stuff that can go in here. But for the time being, really what you have to know is this. Zoom in with the plus and minus here or with the mouse wheel and then move this around like that. Load the checkpoint. We have our model, the checkpoint. Then we have our prompt. It came up preloaded with cute anime girl with massive flinny ears and other fluffy bits, whatever that says. Next, as you can kind of see here, a lot of these sort of things flow into this key sampler here. Key sampler is the node that's actually responsible for putting everything together. And this produces our latent image. You can think of it as kind of this compressed version of the image. And this decoder decodes it into the actual image that we're able to see. So I'm going to click run and see what happens. You'll see the progress bar appear here and the key sampler at least for this workflow and boom. So that took about uh, maybe 10 seconds, a little bit more. And now we have this uh, beautiful, beautiful image here. There it is, cake and all. And as requested, she appears to be very fluffy. You've just used the power of open source AI models to create an image on your home computer. You're a wizard, Harry. My name is Wes Roth. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.